guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you another Top 5 Wednesday video, and today's topic is Top 5 Villains. I want to keep this video as recent as possible, so the most recent books that I've read, but I didn't read that many books with great villains this year. So, most of them are from books that I've read this past year, some of them are not. I don't know about you, but I love me some villains. I love reading about a character that you just hate and despise. These are in no particular order. So my first two villains are controversial ones. You may not agree with me, they may, you may not see them as villains, but that's okay. Leave it down below, I like to discuss it. Now the first one I'm going to show you, you're probably going to roll your eyes because I pull up this video book in every video. I can't help it. That being said, the first controversial villain I'd like to talk to you about today is Tamlin. I know some of you love Tamlin. And that's fine. If you love Tamlin, good for you. I didn't love Tamlin. I just didn't. Without spoiling the book, he just did some really mean and horrible, horrible things in this book. So like I said earlier, I love having a villain that I just hate. I love to hate villains. I don't know, maybe I'm evil. I don't know. But I, I really hated him. He made me so mad. I think a great villain draws all kinds of emotions out of you. So. He got some emotions out of me. The second controversial villain that I want to talk to you about is Agnes from Burial Rites. Now, this one's controversial because I don't know that she was written as the villain. It's kind of a complicated story. So for those of you who don't know the story, Burial Rites is a historical fiction story about the last woman who was executed in Iceland. It follows a woman named Agnes who has been convicted of murder and she's taken into this family uh, on a farm while she waits awaits her execution. Now the reason that I call Agnes a villain is because everybody sees her that way. I don't know that the author intends her to be that way because you know you kind of fall in love with this villain but she's committed this murder and it's quite obviously that she's done it from the beginning of the book. So what I liked about this particular villain is that I kind of felt for her. And she drew emotion out of me like I think a good villain should do, but it's a different kind of emotion. I really related to her in certain ways, and I thought in that aspect she was quite a good villain, if you will. Somewhere between a villain and a protagonist, I don't know, it's really difficult to explain, but because of that reason I picked her as my top five, one of my top five. Okay, for villain number three I'm going with Lorlana from the Luda Chronicles. She, again, got some emotion out of me. I don't know that she's one of the best villains that I've read about, but certainly one of the better ones recently. The reason that I like Lavana is because she's so politically minded and so hell-bent on war, and she's trying to marry Prince Kai, and I can't tell you a lot about that because of spoilers and stuff, but I would really like to know more about her, so I'm very interested to read Ferris. And I, the reason that I picked her is because she intrigues me. I want to know more about her story. So I know I said that these books were in no particular order, but these last two are definitely my favorite because they got the most emotion out of me. For the my fourth villain, I, I'm going with Kevin from We Need to Talk About Kevin. What I like about Kevin is that he's psychologically twisted. I mean, he's just crazy. I, you have to be crazy in order to be able to commit a school shooting. What I like about Kevin is that we see him through the eyes of his mother. And to really grow to hate an individual through the eyes of their mother is quite interesting. And the end of this book just killed me, so there's that. Alright guys, so my all-time favorite villain, the villain that I hate the most, and because I hate him, I think he is fantastic, is Black Jack Randall. If you've seen the Outlander series or if you read the book, you can completely agree with me. The author had to go to a really deep, dark place to write this character, and she did such a phenomenal job. I don't think I have ever loathed a human being more than I loathe this character. I have absolutely no pity for him whatsoever. He makes me furious and I, I was glad that some things happened in later books that I will not talk about because spoilers, but I just, I get all worked up even talking about him. Fantastic villain, awful person. That's my number, number one villain of all time. I don't, 
I challenge any author to write a villain better than Blackjack Randall. I don't think it's possible. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the Top 5 Wednesday videos, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love if you would join my little community here. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye!